Callie really inspires me. I wouldn't have nominated her if I didn't know that she is going to be probably our shining star for this program. She is a sponge. She just wants to grow and change and she listens and learns and she's, she's awesome. She's really an awesome girl. It's uh, weird to hear that your mentors are inspired by you because they're kind of the ones that inspire you to do good. Uh, so I think inspiration is taking on a new definition for me. Yeah, Caledonia is hard for a lot of people, so everybody calls me Cali. I am 18 years old. The Jevs Pass program came to our school, and they said I was the first to turn in my application, actually. So I was definitely wanting to do the program. The students have to be under the federal poverty guidelines to be a part of our program. Around the time I joined the Pass program was definitely a little more difficult time in my life. My dad was sick at the time and uh, money wasn't really um, abundant at that time. We were kind of struggling. I believe she was, if I recall, she was living with an aunt. And then I think that she was having some problems with the aunt or some issues with the aunt and then moved out and lived with someone else. Pretty much since I was 15, I took care of myself. I was working a lot of hours, kind of focusing on work more than school. I was sick of being poor. <laughs> I was sick of struggling. I was sick of working those long hours. I was, I was, I was ready for something better. Past program kind of gave me that opportunity to, you know, focus more on the important things, like you know, like getting school done, getting the SATs in. Uh, looking into college, getting focused, ready for college, uh, the internship, which was awesome. Part of what our program does is try to match the internships up with the kids' interests. Well, this was one of the few kids who said, I know what I want to be when I grow up. Callie came right to us and said, I want to be an architect. That's really unusual for a young person. So when Rhonda called and said, I have this high school kid that's interested in becoming an architect, we'd like to see if you would take her for the summer, my immediate reaction was, you know, I wish we could help you guys out, but high school kids just don't work for us. And I hung up the phone and I got started getting second thoughts, primarily because she told me that Callie went to my alma mater, my high school. I got to the place where, what is the downside to the firm? They paid her salary, so I looked at it as, well, what's the risk, really? So why not give it a shot and open our hearts and our thoughts and see if we can make it work? It's metamorphosis that we have seen in front of our eyes. A young woman who came as a really angry young person with probably a tentative future to someone who is going to be a terrific addition to our society. And I've told my family about Callie living on her own and working two jobs and working here full time and going to school, putting herself through college. You know, it's, it is an inspiring story. I try to figure out, well, what if I just didn't accept that I had to be on my own at 15? What if I was like, no, this isn't right. I shouldn't have to work. I shouldn't have to do this, that, and third. I probably would have been like in a foster home somewhere or God forbid on the streets somewhere. Like I just look at like the the decisions I've had to make, yeah, it was a lot of work, but I felt as though that's what I had to do to be happy. Callie's story just shows us that inside there's a light. And when you find the light and you see the hope, then you get to see the success that Callie is today and will be in the future. It's nice to actually work towards something and have that, that work you put in pay off. So that's really what all my work, hard work is for, is it's going to pay off in the end. It's worth it.